get hot, get too close to the flame, wild open space, talk like an open book, sound me. Yeah, you made it. Welcome to Whole Fit's very first vlog newsletter, where every month I'm going to be bringing you a fitness, nutrition, and wellness tip as well as a few Q&A at the end. So without further ado, let's get started with this month's feature on nutrition. Hey guys, welcome to the March video newsletter and your very first nutrition tip. My little partner in crime here was being a little fussy, so she's gonna help us through this video. And it just so happens I'm showing you how to make the perfect three minute salad while holding a toddler. So if you're not holding a toddler, you're way ahead of me. So um, first of all, the best salad starts off with the most nutritious organic ingredients. So if you're ever gonna go organic, you wanna always stick to organic produce. You'll see a lot of products out there that are processed and in boxes that might have the label organic on it. Not really worth your money and really you shouldn't be buying the processed stuff anyway. So let's show you how to start off every week with a big salad in your fridge, which makes sure you're gonna have those healthy greens every day for lunch. So the first thing, I've got my organic romaine. What I do with all of my veggies before I start is I soak them with my produce wash. So in the health challenge, I gave you a recipe for a, a natural green produce wash you can make at home. This is a simple mix of baking soda, vinegar, and water. So I spray these down, let them sit for about five minutes before I get started. After they're done soaking, I rinse them off and I get ready to chop. So I simply shred my romaine. I don't use any knives for this. I just get right in there, shred it up into a big bowl. Hi. And then, hi. Two of the most useful tools you could purchase for your kitchen, uh, I'm gonna show you right now. So the first is a mandolin slicer. Now this is what I use to chop up every hi. veggie that goes into my salad. So I'm literally not using a knife to chop up anything. The second very helpful tool you'll have in your kitchen is a salad spinner. So I have a very small one here, if you can see. And I just toss my um, lettuces after they're done soaking in this, spin it out, and then throw them to my bowl. So after I've done my produce wash on my romaine, as I said, I throw it in the bowl and then I get going on all the veggies. My favorite salad combination is romaine with some spinach. Then I throw in some organic celery, organic cucumber, and organic red pepper, and organic carrots. So that's a really good standard salad to keep in your fridge. A great dressing I'm going to post after the newsletter is for a dressing based out of apple cider vinegar. Now apple cider vinegar is very important for digestion and it's very nutritious. You want to um, look for the ones that are raw. This is a great brand by Bragg's. And one other thing I want to mention just at the end here is if you are on a vegan diet, it's very important that you're supplementing with B12. I take a B12 supplement that has 5,000 um, IUs in it. Now. What helps the absorbability of B12 is a vinegar base. So I always make sure I take my B12 with my salad because I'm having the apple cider vinegar dressing. So there's a little tip for the vegan girls out there. Hope you enjoyed this month's health tip. Okay guys, are you ready for March's move of the month or mom? I coined that term all by myself, I'm pretty smart. Um, anyway, the move for this month is going to be a single leg push up on a fire hydrant. Not actually on a fire hydrant, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So what I want you to do is first of all come into a push-up position on both knees, and then I'm gonna show you a push-up on your knees, and then you're gonna go right into what we call the fire hydrant, hence the catchy little name. So here we go. So again, come down on all fours. You want your hands to be at your shoulder height when you're doing push-ups, so you're gonna be on your knees. So you're gonna push up from your knees first, and you're gonna bring one leg into your chest, out to your side and back. And that's your fire hydrant. And then I want you to do your push up from here with one leg in the air. Bring it to your chest, out to the side, and then kick back. And keep doing that. Okay? So that's a great functional movement and it's going to not only work your chest through the push ups, but your whole entire core, your back. Back of your legs, great thing to add in during the commercial breaks of your workout if you're looking for something to pack a quick punch. Okay, we'll see you next month with another mom move.
Okay, and this month's wellness tip comes from Whole Living Magazine. I have a subscription. If you don't have one, it is the best. It's made by Martha, and uh, pretty much all she touches is gold. So everything in this magazine is about health and well-being and holistic health. So this month's tip is to grab a piece of felt the size of your laptop, cut it out into a square so it just is a little bit bigger than the size of your laptop base, and then you're going to spread essential oils all along the uh, perimeter of the felt, then as your laptop heats up throughout the day, it immerses your air with fresh essential oils, especially great if you work in an office. So give that a try. Okay, so I'm gonna round out our newsletter by doing a little bit of Q&A. So thanks for all your great questions. I'm only gonna do two per, new two per newsletter. Um, so any that I don't get to tonight will carry over. So the first question tonight comes from Summer. And Summer wants to know what kind of supplements I take. So. This is always a little bit of a gray area because I obviously don't want you running out and taking whatever I take. So um, I know you all know that I eat a vegan diet. So there are certain things that I pay special attention to to make sure I'm getting what I need. Um, so the first thing that I take is a vegan DHA oil, which is high in omega-3s because those are especially hard to get in our diet if we're not adding in chia seeds and flax seeds, things like that all day long. Um, so the brand that I like is Nutrisy, and they, um, they are a vegan oil if you're looking for that. Um, the second thing I am cautious of taking is B12. So as I mentioned in today's nutrition post, um, I take B12 at the same time that I have a salad or something that has an acidic vinegar base to it because this helps the absorbability of the B12. I personally take um, 5,000 units once a week and that um, is good for me. I get my blood tested regularly at my doctor's office and um, this is one of the things that I always test for. So I keep my eyeballs on that. Um, the third thing I take is vitamin D, especially in the winter. So I take on the higher end, I take about 4,000 units, sorry, 4,000 IUs. Um, everything I've read has shown research behind um, being able to take uh, 1,000 IUs per 25 pounds of body weight. If you're a breastfeeding mom or um, a pregnant mom, uh, this is especially important since you're losing a lot of those nutrients and, you know, obviously much more important for those of us that live in seasonal conditions. And I did a, a post during the challenge on the importance of vitamin D. So if you want to learn more, you can take a look back at that. Um, the fourth thing I take is a probiotic every day, every day 10, 000, or 10 billion cultures in each capsule. Um, so, you know, there's lots of probiotics on the market. Sorry, I don't have uh, my exact brand with me right now, but it is um, 10,000 or 10 billion, I keep saying thousand, 10 billion cultures per pill. So lots of healthy gut going on. And you want to actually have 80% of the good friendly bacteria in your gut and 20% of the not so good. And most of us are actually on the opposite end of that. So probiotics are great to add in. Um, and then the very last thing I guess you could consider a supplement is I love amazing meal greens powder. I buy the chocolate form and I'll add a little scoop to my shakes and it covers off um, all my bases, all my greens, Corella, spirulina, um, and a whole host of other nutrients. So check out that brand. They're really great and great tasting because some of them aren't so great tasting. Okay, so that's it. Um, last thing I wanted to mention was that uh, for those of you that did the 30-day um, the challenge, you still have a couple of weeks left to uh, get 30% off my services. I've met a couple of amazing women who did the challenge that I've been working with over the last month. So just keep that in mind. And um, that's it. Continue sending me your questions, feedback, thoughts. And uh, you know, thank you so much for transitioning over to the new blog address. A bit of drama with the other ones. So I had to um, transition everything over and I'm actually very excited that everything will now be aligned under my business name, Whole Fit. So hope you like it. Lots of great posts to come. I'm planning a few posts on um, raising a vegan child and a seminar I just attended, or not just attended, but a seminar I attended with Brendan Brazier. So I'm excited to share my um, experience on that. So I'll be back next month with your April spring showers. We'll be totally in the clear of snow by then newsletter. Bye for now.